welcome back everyone so today in this video i am going to share an amazing custom windows 11 iso and this iso has been created by a developer who has been creating this kind of custom iso since windows xp so yes it's absolutely safe and much faster than other custom iso like atlas and the review OS. so without any delay let's quickly get started Before starting guys, make sure that you hit the like, subscribe as it will not cost you anything but will surely help my channel to bring more valuable videos for you. And you can also join my membership where you can live chat with me to fix any of your PC and laptop problem. Okay, so right now we are on this custom ISO and the name of this custom ISO is Optimum 11 Pro. And you can have a look here that the wallpaper we have, it's really amazing and it's very really neat and clean. And on the taskbar you can see that we only got the Windows logo and then we got the file explorer so let's click on the windows logo and see what kind of start menu it has okay and it looks very different very neat and clean so you can see that we only got some basic items over here like accessibility we got this kind of tool then we have applications we also got the game section and it contains the lighter free cell and i believe these are the old games that we used to have on windows 7 and windows 8 a part of that you got the startup items windows accessories then you have windows powershell and many more things windows tool and even you got the x light tools and this x light tool contains the optional the search that is a third party search bar for searching any kind of files on your computer it works really good then you got the win error tweaker windows firewall on or off this is the this is the kind of a shortcut that you can use from here only now personally I like this kind of start menu because it's neat and clean without any kind of junk so it's good for me now if I bring up the file explorer okay so it's all in the dark mode the file explorer remain the same I don't find any kind of changes here now let's see if I make a right click on the desktop okay so we have the old context menu and there are many more options are being added in the context menu like the command prompt you can directly open from here even as an administrator then you have the control panel also in the context menu you can kill the unresponsive task so it's amazing feature that has been added because many times when you find any application going not responsive then you can use this feature restart explorer again to apply the changes you can go with the restart explorer even to fix many kind of problem then you also got the safe mode and you can start the computer in the safe mode in the normal in the networking from here only then you got the system properties so from here only you can restore your computer or you can do many kind of other visual changes then you have the new display setting and the personalized so that's really good that's really amazing and very useful options are being added in the context menu now if you will have a look on the desktop icons you find two different options here extras plus info and if you click on it so it give us some kind of a uh, shortcut and many kind of tools like desktop shortcuts and from here only you can use the power the powershell you can change the username from here only so that's good then you have the enable printing option guides microsoft store installer you can install those application web browser installer so if you want to install any kind of browser like chrome edge or firefox then you can do that from here only widgets enabler if you want to disable the widgets or you want to enable it then you can do that then you have the windows registry tweaks so you can open it look over here if you want to apply them then you can apply them then you have windows x Lite info so if you want to visit their channel the developer channel then you can visit it then you also got some kind of wallpaper a part of this one that we had in the background if you want to change it then you can change it i personally like this one so i will keep and stuck with this one only then you have the games icon and if i click on the games so these are the games that you get and if you want to enjoy the old game then you can really enjoy it so the old windows user must really i uh, would be happy to see this kind of minesweeper screen and personally i love this game so probably i will play that later okay so that what all customization has been done in this custom iso now let's talk about the main thing that is the utilization so if i bring up the task manager and go to the performance tab so you can see the process count is around 65 the thread is 765 the handle is 30,000, and that's really very very low 
as compared to other customizers so like Tiny 11 or you if you talk about the Atlas or the Revy this is the minimum count that I can see over here the minimum utilization not only with the RAM CPU but also with the disk and the other usage okay now let's play any kind of game and see that what kind of difference we get I've installed the Minecraft game and before this custom ISO had Windows 11 machine over here and when I was playing the Minecraft on Windows 11 regular machine I was getting the around the FPS of around 22, 24, 28 but once I installed this custom ISO of Optimum 11 and then when I played the Minecraft I was getting the FPS around 40, 46, 48 so that so yes there was a difference and because of this custom ISO we were enjoying the best game with the best APS without any kind of lag okay so that's all about this custom ISO now let's see that how exactly you have to use it how you have to install it okay so now we are back to windows 11 regular screen and now before proceeding let me show you that what kind of utilization is on this regular windows 11 machine so if i bring up the task manager go to performance so you can see i have not installed any kind of application it's a fresh windows 11 and still you can see the process count is around 168 uh, the threads are around 2530 and the handle is around 73,000. So that's a huge difference between the custom ISO and the regular Windows 11 ISO. Alright, so let's go ahead and start creating the custom Windows 11 ISO. So for that, you will have to come to this website of Windows X Lite, breathing new life into your PC. So basically, they have created this custom ISO for the people who have the very low end PC or who want to enjoy the best performance and the best gaming. So if you want to read more about it, you can read it. Then you will have to come down to the very bottom and you will find this download link option. You will have to click on it. Then it will take you to the media fire page and here you can click on download and the downloading will be started and it's around 3.2 gigabytes. So it will take some time. So kindly wait until it's all been done. All right. So once the file has been downloaded, it will be downloaded in a zip file. So right click on it, then click on extract all click on extract the process will be started so again wait for a few seconds and it won't take much time to get extracted once extracted you will be getting the windows x Lite folder kindly open it and here you will find multiple files including the windows x Lite iso image and you will also get the rufus that will be helping us to create a bootable usb of this custom iso all right so please go ahead and connect your usb that you want to create a bootable usb and once you have connected then you have to double click on the rufus software here click on yes and it will say do you want to allow rufus to check for application update then you have to click on yes and this kind of rufus dashboard will be coming up so if you have already connected your usb your pen drive it will automatically detect it if not then click on the drop down and choose the right usb then in the boot selection you have to select the iso image so click on select locate to the place where you have the windows x Lite iso select it click on open then you don't have to do any changes here simply click on start then it says warning all the data on the device will be destroyed so make sure that you don't have any data in the usb or pen drive because all the data will be wiped out so click on ok so the process will now be started and wait until the bootable usb has been created okay guys so finally the bootable usb has been created now so you will have to click on close and now you need to connect this bootable usb to the computer where you want to install this custom iso so let me quickly connect it and once connected you will have to restart the computer in the bios mode so that you can change the boot priority order and the next time it can boot with this bootable usb okay so i'm using a virtual machine so i'm getting this kind of page but probably depending on your manufacturer you might get different kind of bios screen so you will have to go to the boot sequence change the boot priority order and boot with the bootable usb that you have connected and once it will be booted you will be getting this kind of a screen that setup is starting so now here it says select the operating system you want to install and you get two different options here windows x Lite optimum 11 pro with defender off and windows x Lite with defender on so they give you two different options either you can go without installing the windows defender so it will not contain the windows defender security or you can go with the one that contain the windows defender security now here if you are installing this custom iso on a very low end pc and you want to do some basic tasks and you are not too concerned about the security then yes you should go with the defender off option 
then you will have to click on next and now next it says where do you want to install windows so you will have to select the partition where exactly you want to install this custom iso now if you have already taken the data backup then you can select the partition where your previous windows was being installed then you can delete it then you can have a fresh windows copy of this optimum 11 but if you have not taken the data backup then either you can take the data backup first or you can select the same partition where your previous windows was being installed and without deleting you can click on next and this custom iso will be installed okay so what i will do i don't need my old windows 11 so i will simply delete it once deleted i will select the same partition then i will click on next and the installation process will now be started bingo so finally the optimum 11 pro has been installed and you can see the same wallpaper now the very first thing that i would like to show you the disk usage i missed that to show you in the beginning so if i bring up the file explorer and here if i show you the c drive and if i make a right click here go to properties so you can see that only 5.51 gigabyte has been used and that's again the huge difference between the regular windows 11 because that take around 11 or 12 gigabyte but it only takes 5.51 gigabyte and trust me guys it works really fast it's very responsive now again if i bring up the task manager so let me show you again and here you can see the process is around 57 percent the thread is around 908 the handle count is around 25,000. so if you remember before installing this custom iso i showed you the process and the handle count of the windows regular iso and that was really high as compared to this one all right so now you can calculate you can understand that what kind of difference it make and how it can be very beneficial for you if you install this custom iso on a low-end pc or an old pc or laptop so that's all guys for today hopefully you found this video helpful if yes do not forget to like and subscribe and i see you in the next video bye bye